Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11. In today's episode, we are going to identify the features of a biography and then write a biography. So, what are the main elements in any biography, Ms. Ziani? Well, the main elements of a biography are as follows. Follow with me. First one, we have date and place of birth. Second, nationality, childhood, education, achievements, date and place of death. And all those events, they can come in chronological order, all right, from the first to the last event. Well, let's start with a listening activity about Martin Luther King. Today is the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929. He was an African-American clergyman, activist, and a prominent leader in the American civil rights movement. He made progress to secure civil rights in the United States. King became a civil rights activist early in his career. He led the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott. King's efforts led to the 1963 March on Washington, where King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. In 1964, King became the youngest person to achieve the Nobel Peace Prize for his work to end racial segregation and racial discrimination. King was assassinated on April 4, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was established as a U.S. national holiday in 1986. The holiday is celebrated on the Monday following the day of his birthday. He was one of the great leaders in the American history. Okay, so as you can see, we have five main dates. Number one, 1929, 1955, 1963, 1964, and finally, 1968. Okay, so for the first date, 1929, of course it is obvious, it is his date of birth. So he was born on January the 15th. In 1955, he led the Montgomery bus boycott. In 1963, he participated in Washington March and he delivered his famous speech, I have a dream. In 1964, I mean, he was, I mean, the youngest person to achieve the Nobel Peace Prize. And finally, in 1968, he was assassinated on April the 14th, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, you are going to reorder the following sentences to write a short biography about Al Amir Abdul Qadir. Right? Follow with me the sentences. The first one, or A. The French defeated his forces and arrested him by 1846. B. Then he fortified the interior towns, opened arsenals and workshops, and expanded education. C. Later, in 1853, he chose a life of exile in Damascus, Syria. D. First, he organized the true state, imposed equal taxes, and suppressed the privileges of the warlike tribes. E. Amir Abdel Qadr was the founder of modern Algeria, leader of the resistance against the French. And of course, you have just to follow the date to order the sentences. So the answer is going to be as follow. The first sentence is sentence E. The second sentence is sentence D. D. The third one is B, the fourth is A, and the fifth is six. And you will get the following passage. Amir Abdel Qadr was the founder of modern Algeria, leader of the resistance against the French. First, he organized the true state, imposed equal taxes, and suppressed the privileges of the warlike tribes. Then he fortified the interior towns, opened arsenals and workshops, and expanded education. The French defeated his forces and arrested him by 1846. Later, in 1853, he chose a life of exile in Damascus, Syria. Okay, and now, here is a summary 
about the main elements of biographies. So all biographies have certain characteristics. One, it is written by someone other than the famous person. Two, it is about the person's life. Three, it is about his place, I mean date and place of birth. Four, country or city the person is from. Five, significant, significant contributions or achievements. Problems or obstacles the subject had to face successfully. Important, important events from history. And finally, people who influenced the person. And of course, we shouldn't forget the grammar features of biographies, all right? Follow with me. Here are the features. Of course, first thing is the use of time markers. Second, the use of prepositions of time like in plus a year, on plus a date. And of course, time expressions like later, like two years later, earlier, two years earlier, at the age of and once. And of course, the verbs, they have to be in the past simple or the past continuous. And of course, we usually use the ing form after some verbs. For instance, of, as an example, he started working, he or she started writing. All right. And the last one is that we often use relative pronouns like who, that, which, where, whose to avoid repetition and to join the sentences. OK, now, like we always say that practice makes perfect, it is your turn to make a presentation about a hero from our country or any other country to your class. So you have to complete the following worksheet and then write your paragraph. Well, the worksheet here is going to help you organize the information that you will find about the person you're going to present to the classroom. And here it contains the following information that you need to find, like the name of the person, date of birth, place of birth, of course, the country or the city where he was born or she was born, the problems or obstacles he or she faced through or overcame uh, over her life or his life. And of course, the most important significant uh, event or achievements, of course, and then you can end it by his date and place of, uh, of uh, death. All right, so from death to, from birth to death, okay? So now let's see a sample, I mean, a sample presentation about Martin Luther King. Today is the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929. He was an African-American clergyman, activist, and a prominent leader in the American civil rights movement. He made progress to secure civil rights in the United States. King became a civil rights activist early in his career. He led the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott. King's efforts led to the 1963 March on Washington where King delivered his famous, I have a dream, speech. In 1964, King became the youngest person to achieve the Nobel Peace Prize for his work to end racial segregation and racial discrimination. King was assassinated on April 4, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was established as a U.S. national holiday in 1986. The holiday is celebrated on the Monday following the day of his birthday. He was one of the great leaders in the American history. Well, I guess that's all for today. I hope the presentation of, was of good use to you. Hope to see you next time. See so, you. See you next time.